I'm Oliver Slope with Blue Line Futures coming to you from the Chicago Board of Trade with another episode of Tech Talk. It is Tuesday, April 27th, and the roller coaster in the grain complex continues to roll on uh, with a lot of volatility. Now, over the last couple of weeks, we saw the majority of that volatility to the upside as corn, soybeans, and wheat accelerate higher. Um, and we've talked about this in our daily reports, kind of breaking out into uncharted territory and new highs. Uh, we have left resistance pockets out, and we've explained this multiple times, and we'll do it uh, one more time uh, just for good measure. Now, when we look at charts and look for technical resistance points, we look for previous interaction between buyers and sellers, and at new t uh, all-time highs or contract highs, we don't have that. So that's why we left resistance pockets out, and you can see why. Because this momentum trade has turned into an emotional trade, now this emotional trade has turned into an irrational trade. And that's not to say there's not good underlying fundamentals in the market, but look at these intraday trading ranges, and it's highly irrational. You've got July corn in a 38 cent range, July beans in a 56 and three quarter cent range, and July wheat in a 43 cent range. Now, again, there's good fundamentals, but we had a sharp rise and we're expecting there to be violent retracements. Now, that kind of led us to this morning's Grain Express. Now, if you've read our daily grain commentary uh, at all over the past several years, you know that we have a fundamental section, we have a technical section, we have a bias section where we say whether we're bullish, bearish, neutral, etc. Then we have support and resistance levels. This morning's was a different format. I woke up to make corn expanded limit up. That was 40 cents. And I quite literally, kid you not, thought I was asleep. I had to wring my eyes out about three or four times do a quadruple take at my quotes, and I was like, holy, holy cow, make corn up 40 cents on the day. So the, that led us to this morning's report. Is more or less a disclaimer, and we're going to be honest with you. We wrote, trying to come up with a way and a reason to describe the overnight early morning volatility is a fool's errand, so we will leave it at that. If you're going to trade this market, we also talked about position sizing uh, being very key and managing your risk as we will see those intraday ranges expand. Now, if I had to take a guess on how this is going to play out over the next week, uh, it would go something like this. We chop around sideways, maybe slightly higher into the weekend. We've got first notice day coming up for May corn. You squeeze those last shorts out of that market. And then once those last shorts are out of the market, we kind of crater and see a sharp pullback next week. That sucks those people back in who didn't roll positions and were short and taking a bad trade against them for far too long. Now, once those shorts get sucked back in, wouldn't be surprised to see that rip their face off uh, just one more time to the upside. So that's how I could see it playing out. I'm not saying it's going to play out like that, but kind of what we're drawing up on the chalkboard, so to speak. But the wild card continues to be the positioning between the funds and the producers. We know and have noted this for several months now that funds have a very heavily long position, 300, 350,000 contracts. This is typically the top end of their holding position, but we do know that they got those position limits expanded. So they can now add powder to that, nearly doubling their position if they wanted to. Over the last two weeks, really over the last week, we've seen the funds flex their muscle and continue to add to their long side. And what does that do? Uh, well, that presses the market higher, but it also squeezes the people on the other side of that market, which is commercials and producers. This is a short squeeze and kind of what we referred to over the last several weeks is the potential of a powder keg. Now, we didn't necessarily expect it to happen this week. I would have thought that it would really happen a little closer towards the end of May, but nonetheless, here we are. We've got corn breaking out and just accelerating to the upside. All these charts look the same accelerating to the upside, accelerating to the upside. So there's really not a whole lot of technicals to go over uh, in today's tech talk, uh, but just be sure to manage your risk appropriately. Buckle up. There's going to be violent swings to the upside and the downside in the very near term. So that's what we're looking at. That's what you should be looking at too. This has been Oliver Slope with Blue Line Futures from the Chicago Board of Trade. Remember, trading futures and options involves substantial risk of loss and is not suitable for all investors. Thanks a lot.